In this lesson, we will talk about displacement formulas and how to use them to find displacement in physics. Links to all the study material are given in the description box, so do check them out for more information. So let's begin with our tutorial. Many people use term distance and displacement interchangeably, but in reality, both distance and displacements are two different concepts. Displacement is defined as a change in the position of an object. Now, when an object is displaced, it covers a distance in a particular direction. Since it has both magnitude and direction, displacement is a vector quantity. For more clarity, consider an object moving from point A to point B. Here the object under consideration moves through this red line path. Here this red line's path gives total distance covered by the object in moving from point A to point B. But the green line pointing from point A to point B is the shortest possible distance between these two points with its direction pointing from initial point A to final point B. This shortest distance from point A to B is nothing but displacement of the object. Now as such, we have two cases of formulas for finding displacement in kinematics. First one is where only position of object is given, that is, we have information about initial and final positions of the object in motion. In a second case, we use kinematics equations that involve distance along with other parameters like velocity, acceleration and time. However, in this lesson, we would only find displacement of object without involving other kinematic quantities like velocity, acceleration and time. So here we will learn how to find displacement without time. Let us now look at how to find displacement in physics. Now if we have knowledge about initial and final position of the object, then displacement of the object is given by the formula delta x is equals to xf minus xi where this xf is the final position, xi is the initial position and delta x is change in position of the object. Now this formula gives displacement of the object moving in a straight line. Next we will look at resultant displacement formula. Resultant displacement formula is used when distance from point of reference is used to specify initial and final position of object. Despite the fact that distance and displacement are not the same thing, displacement problems will tell you how many foot or meters an object has traveled. Problems would also mention along which direction north, east, south or west or object is traveling. Now the resultant displacement formula is given by relation d is equals to under root x square plus y square where d is displacement, x is the object's initial direction of motion and y is the second direction in which the object is moving. Now if your object can only move in one direction then y is equals to zero. This formula also gives an equation that shows how to find displacement without using time in physics. Let us now look at an example problem to find displacement using this formula where position of an object is given. So our question 1 states that a car starts to move from point A to point B to point C and then back to point B and then to point C along the line as shown in this figure. We have to first find the distance covered by the moving car 
and we have to find the magnitude and direction of the displacement of the car so let us first look at first part of the question now distance traveled by the car is equals to ab plus bc plus cb plus bc which is equals to 11 km plus 4 km plus 4 km plus 4 km is equals to 23 km which is the required answer now in second part we have to find the magnitude and direction of the displacement of car so magnitude of displacement is equals to the distance between the final point c and the initial point a so displacement ac is equals to 7 km as can be clearly seen from this line given in the question now regarding direction of this displacement since this motion is an example of motion along a straight line the direction of displacement is along ab with vector pointing in direction from a to b so this was our case for motion along a straight line we will now look at an example problem where motion of the object is a case of motion in two different directions and in this case we would be using the resultant displacement formula so our question 2 states that an object moves through a distance of 3 mile due east and 4 miles due north and in first part of the question we have to find how much is the net distance traveled and in second part of the question we have to find what is the magnitude of the net displacement now the situation described in question is shown in this figure this problem use the resultant displacement formula for finding displacement of the object now the object starts from o it moves through a distance of 3 miles due east to reach a and then through a distance of 4 mile due north to reach b now the total distance moved is 3 miles plus 4 mile which is equals to 7 mile now in second part of the question here ob is the magnitude of net displacement so from pythagoras theorem in a right angle triangle oab ob whole square is equals to oa whole square is equals to ab squared and putting in the values we get 3 miles whole square plus 4 miles whole square which is equals to 25 miles whole square or taking square root of the quantity in right we get ob is equals to 5 mile which is our required answer now let us look at our third question it states that a farmer moves along the boundary of a square field of side 10 meter in 40 seconds what will be the magnitude of displacement of farmer at the end of 2 minute 20 seconds now solution of this problem also use resultant displacement formula for calculating displacement now as can be seen from this figure the parameter of square abcd is equals to 4 times 10 meter now time for moving around the 10 meter square field once is equals to 40 second as given in the question now time for journey of the farmer is equals to 2 minute and 20 seconds which is equals to 2 times 60 second plus 20 second is equals to 140 second so basically we have converted minutes into second now number of times the farmer moves around the square field is equals to 140 divided by 40 now you get the number when you divide total time used for traveling divided by the time used to move around the field once so 140 by 40 is equals to 3.5 so farmer move around the field 3.5 times now for going 3 times around the square field the displacement is equals to 0 now it can be seen from the figure that if the farmer starts from point a then he will cover 10 meter along ab 
and 10 meter along BC. Therefore, displacement of farmer from point A to point C can be calculated using Pythagoras theorem for right angled triangle. So, AC is equals to square root of AB square plus BC square, which is equals to square root of 10 square plus 10 square is equals to square root of 200. And on finding square root of 200, we get 14.14 meter, which is our required answer. So, students, this is it for now. Thanks for watching.